Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saif Lemon Takuma. With me here is my wife. Mariam Lemo. Welcome back to this episode. In the last episode, we talked about challenges to do with uh, intimacy um, and what needs to be done to make sure husbands not only worry about satisfying themselves, but to make sure that their partners, their wives are also satisfied. Mm -hmm. And we talked about communication being very important in discussing what pleases your spouse and to make sure you do your best to meet their needs as long as, as we said, you do not go into areas of haram that or areas have been forbidden. So I'd like to uh, move over to Mariam on this to hear Absolutely. what she wants to say about this. I issue. think also with regard to intimacy, um, this thing about being fit, um, making sure you look attractive for your spouse so that at least you're appealing, um, but at the same time that you are actually healthy. Um, so this applies to both and it's not one-sided. Often, um, if a woman gains weight, especially after a couple of children, um, there's a lot more pressure on her to try and trim. But don't trim just to look sexy for your spouse, even though that is important. Um, you do need to be very conscious of your weight um, because it isn't healthy. Um, it has long-term effects. And especially by the time you hit 40, if you have not treated your body well, you start to feel the side effects mm -hmm. of that lack of care. Mm -hmm. And then you have to now find remedies, which is the unfortunate thing. You have to start taking things to fix the damage that has been done. But I know like my husband, um, he talks a lot about this issue to do with fitness and how important it is also when it comes to intimacy and being able to sustain yourself during intercourse. Absolutely. Um Fitness plays a big role. Scientifically, it's been proven that, again, to be very adult here, it takes a man on average two minutes to climax when they're having intimate uh, relations with their wives. It takes women an average of eight minutes. Now, seriously speaking, brothers, you need to be fit. You need to be fit not just because of that. You need to be fit because it's important that your heart works properly, that you don't have too much fat in your stomach, there was a time I was a bit heavy and uh, we were in Abuja for an event. And my wife was trying to find a delicate way to tell me that I was overweight. <laughs> and oh visiting us that day was her brother, Nurdin Lemu, and my brother. Do you have to tell this story? Aminu Takuma. Oh and my God. Uh, I don't know what, one thing led to another. And my wife said, you know, his stomach is like his GPS. Wherever it goes, that's where he goes. Oh I was God. heavy. I was speechless. I sat there oh dumbfounded. God. I didn't know what to say, but you know, I got the message. <laughs> I needed to be fit. So we started working out, we play tennis together, we go on walks together. I think on average, every morning we try to go out, even right now, we, after subu, we go minimum three kilometers walk every morning. The longest we go is about 4.5 kilometers. And we do it between 30 minutes and uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, and this is... And it's a very fast pace It's walk. very fast it's pace. Not it's, not, it's not a leisurely walk. It's not a stroke. And the objective is to help improve our cardio, our heart, our lungs, and to also muscle toning and strength. Because we play tennis, but because of uh, COVID-19, we don't go out to the tennis courts to play. But Mariam and I play tennis, and she's a pretty mean tennis player. So, um, you know, I taught her things and I regretted teaching them because she started giving me a hard time on the tennis court. But I just want brothers to not be constantly on the couch, sitting down. If you have the means, walk around the road, the street, take your wife with you, you can stroll. If you're alone, you can do zikr. If or you can't, download an app. Download an app, you can exercise at home. Yeah. You can do, you can listen to the Quran and translation if you go out. There are many things you can do, but just be fit, be healthy yeah. for, for, for the sake of longevity, for not having problems in our later years, and for being able to sustain a, a relationship, a healthy, satisfying, satisfying relationship with your spouse. Yeah. And the, Mariam said something about health. I've recognized one thing. Our wives gain weight because of pregnancy. We cannot penalize women for gaining weight because they've born as children. They gave us children. They go through that. The body changes, the body chemistry changes, the diet changes. So any man whose wife has gained weight from having a child, 
please be compassionate, be kind, be understanding. You want her to lose weight and be attractive again? It's not about just being attractive. It's now about being healthy, like Mariam said. Now, I want to re-emphasize, it's about being healthy. Join her in doing the exercise. It's not easy to exercise alone. And that's why we make an effort to do it together. It's painful, it's uncomfortable, but, you know, there are benefits to it. Yeah. I think another thing is, um, I think is important we talk about um, is one of the comments that came from someone that they said they wanted us to discuss is this issue to do with secrecy yes. in marriage. Yes. And I always share that my husband and I have no secrets in this marriage. We live a very open relationship. We have no passwords. And I promise you, if your spouse has to keep you out of something, um, because by putting a password, then you need to check yourself and check your spouse. Uh, because a true relationship should be very transparent. Um, there should be trust, mutual trust. So our phones are left lying around because we have nothing to hide from one another. I tell people if they don't want say to know, don't tell me. Because I always go home and I download whatever it is I've gone through during the day or that I've been told. So it's so important you develop a culture of being truthful, um, being open, being transparent, and not having secrets. Another area, especially we women, are guilty of is keeping secrets from our spouse to do with our children. Our child misbehaves or does something wrong, or the school calls and reports that our child did something, and we hide it mm -hmm. from our spouse. Later on, when it comes back, it comes out, it backfires. Um, it takes both of you to raise a child, mm -hmm. and especially issues to do with discipline when you have a child that's going off and is doing something that they need to have both parents involved in fixing. Do not keep that from your sp uh, from your uh, from your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, then finally. Um, I think we just need to wrap up um, this wonderful series. I hope you've enjoyed it, but I just want to emphasize what Said and I have built over the past um, 28, 28 years, years yes. um, didn't happen overnight. It was a rough, rough beginning. And I believe Allah gave us that rough beginning so we can really appreciate this thing we have built. Um, our marriage has become a thriving garden where we n nurture it, we both put in nutrients, sunlight, water, and are reaping the fruits of our hard work. It doesn't mean our marriage is perfect. We're a work in progress. Mm. Um, especially me. <laughs> no, especially me, actually. <laughs> I'm a big problem, and I'm constantly trying to upgrade and improve and make m the best version of myself so he will fall in love with me over and over again. So I'm conscious that he is putting something in. He's conscious that I'm making an effort, and together we are having something that we know, alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed, and we are content with what we have. As again, I say, it doesn't mean we don't fight but we fight without fighting. Mm -hmm. We've found various ways and we continue to find various ways to fix our problem. If you're gonna fight, the best advice I will give is fight to make your marriage work. Because once you get it right, it's the most beautiful thing. If you quarrel with your spouse, if you fight with your spouse, if you have heartache, if you have neglected issues that haven't been addressed, and go out, your mind will never be at ease. So having that wonderful place to come back to, your home, um, the solace where you know you meet your best friend, um, your lover, your confidant, the person you know who knows you better than anybody else in the world, whom you can laugh with, whom you can build a story where ch your children, your grandchildren will hear about the beautiful relationship they had and be beautiful models that others would want to emulate, especially your children. I just want to add when Mariam talked about not having secrets. Um, Mariam knows my pin. Mm -hmm. um, she easily, anytime she wants, she can find out how much I have, how much I don't have. Mm -hmm. I also happen to know her pin. But here's the interesting thing. Neither one of us would ever check the other person's balance. We don't do that. Even though we have the pin, we have access to each other's phones. And when she talked about someone who would make you laugh, um, as a couple, we're still trying to surprise each other with new things, with uh, you know funny things. We, the two of us, could roll, could laugh till we have tears. Just the two of us. <laughs> You know, we, 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 we have the most fun, we laugh a lot, we tell the weirdest jokes. Stupidest and jokes. <laughs> yeah. but, but the thing is, we recognize how important 
laughter is. And when we do get upset with each other, I realize we do that when we feel the other person is not doing the best they can to be the best that they can be of themselves. Yeah. So that's when we get upset with one another, but it's not on the little issues, not coming back on time, not calling, um, not saying I love you and so on. Just last week, this woman reported me to my sister that I was being too much of a problem. And my sister said, what's the problem? And she told my sister, he loves me too much. I'm like, <laughs> my sister is a magic. I said, okay, why don't you just judge this thing? What would your judgment be? And she said, she has no kiss. I said, thank you very much. You know, so we, you can have this. You can work towards this. Yeah. One of the things Mariam always says when she gives her lectures is that we guard our marriage jealously. jealously. And that is true. And you have to guard your marriage jealously. And our prayer is as happy and blessed as we are in this lifetime, our prayer is we find each other again in Jannah and continue where we left off, inshallah. This is something that's attainable for all of you. You can work towards this. It's not like marriage, marriage, you're like in this union, in this partnership, in this uh, collective where each person is looking out for the other person's best interest and each person wants to push the other person to be the best version of themselves and to be as successful as they can possibly be. And that is what we want to leave you with on this issue. This the last item is on, on parenting. We touched on that. People had questions about that. And mm -hmm. I just want to say very quickly, parenting starts before you have the children. You discuss parenting before children. And the question you should ask yourself, is, why do you want to have children? Whenever people come to us for pre counseling, we ask them that. Yeah. Why do you want to have children? I believe in all humility. It is once you understand that you are here to make the world better than you met it, you want to have children to continue in your footsteps in whatever manner Allah shows them. So they also work towards leaving the world better than they met it because they grew up watching their parents trying to make the world a better place. So you become Secretary Jaria for your parents and your children become Sadaqa to Jariah for you. And that is why it is so important to raise children correctly, no secrets, you do it as a team, you are Allah first, you teach them that, and you make them respect humanity, and to just want to commit and dedicate as much as they can towards developing that humanity. Inshallah. Inshallah. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We hope it was of benefit in any way. Um, we pray it helps you strengthen your marriage. We pray it helps you fight to make your marriage work. Sadly, sometimes in spite of all your efforts, things don't work out. Um, please remember not to drag your children into the battlefield. Don't make them your psychiatrists, your lawyers. Don't make them take sides. Um, you're going to cause irreparable damage, which we have seen happen today. So please, for the sake of Allah, if you're going to part, part amicably, mm. part with dignity, mm. part as friends, because it's better you separate that way than to allow the relationship to get toxic. And um, inshallah, Allah will grant you the right person who will fulfill all your needs and fantasies. But I have had the most wonderful time and I'm so glad that Saeed has followed me on this journey. And we hope it's of benefit to you and may Allah bless you so much for watching us. Jazakumullah khairan and salamu alaikum from me and... Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to the couples game. You have you. one second to answer okay. and you must answer at the same time. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. The first question. Who is the most fun in the marriage? She is. <laughs> Who makes the food in the marriage? Both, Both of us. <laughs> Who is a better cook? She is. Who is the most talented in the marriage? I'll give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most adventurous in the marriage? Both, Both of us. Who is the kid's best friend? Now it's him. Now, yeah, it's me now. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who is the better listener? I am. Who gets angry the most? You do. <laughs> Who is the first to apologize? You. I do. I'm the first. Who is the most romantic in the relationship? I am. Who is the baby in the marriage? She'll say I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most soft-hearted in the marriage? She is. Now this is tricky. You have 30 seconds to do a role play. You act your husband and he hacked you. Just any conversation, 30 to one minute. Mariam, I'm very sorry I have hurt you. I realize emotionally I have taken something away from you and I sincerely apologize. And it's something I promise you I will never do again. I'm sorry, Mariam. Mm -hmm. Your apology is not sincere. <laughs> you found it. Yeah, that's what you do. You found that's it. That's what you do. I do, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much for coming. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.